Hey guys, Azubar here, and I know I'm right in the middle of Godzilla Palooza, but I thought, what more, what more fitting thing to review that isn't part of Godzilla Palooza this month than to review a just released Godzilla comic book? Now, I have not been intending to do any reviews this month aside from Godzilla Palooza, as to not distract you guys um, from the main point of this month. Also, it was just going to be too much work for me to put out other reviews of, with Godzilla Palooza. Um, so I was just, just intending this month to be entirely Godzilla movie reviews, and I have several reviews slated to be released next month after G Palooza is over um, in a couple weeks, so I can just release them then. Um, but I just picked this up today, and I couldn't help myself. I had to put my thoughts out on it out there to you guys um, because I've been trying to review IDW's new Godzilla comics after the travesty of Kingdom of Monsters to um, let you guys know if they're good, if you should pick them up, or if you should stay away from them and, um, you know, criticize them. And um, IDW has promised several new Godzilla titles this year, and this is the first Godzilla title that they've released. Um, Godzilla, the Half-Century War, which this is a miniseries, not an ongoing, like the, uh, the uh, Godzilla number one book I reviewed. And by the way, I haven't been neglecting to review issues two and three of that series. I, I have them, and I've read them, and I'll give my opinions on them soon, but I'm waiting for this first arc to finish, and then I'm going to review it um, in, in Moss. Um, and that arc is a couple issues away from completing, so I'll review it when it's complete. But I wanted to give my thoughts on this right now. Um, I'm going to do the same thing for this as I did for Godzilla number one, or I am doing. I'm going to review the first issue, tell you guys whether or not you should pick it up, give my reasons for why you should or shouldn't, and then when this arc is finished, when this five-issue miniseries is over, then I will review it in Moss. Um, but right now, we're going to take a quick look at Godzilla The Half-Century War, uh, the new IDW Godzilla miniseries. Now, this is written and drawn by one guy named Stoko. If you guys can read that any better than I can, um, please say it, say it correctly. I'm going to say it's Stoko. Um, James Stoko, he does both the art and the writing. And um, it's a miniseries that opens up with the actual original 1954 Godzilla attack. Now, it is a slight reworking, but for the most part, the events are basically a different look at the events of Godzilla 54 of Gojira. And um, I was immediately pulled into it. Now, when I walked into my comic shop and I saw this on the shelf, I my mouth dropped. Um, whenever I see a Godzilla comic that I haven't read on the shelf, my mouth drops. Um, so I bought it immediately. The title intrigued me immediately because here's a book that has a title that doesn't really make much sense when you think about it and sounds quite strange, but my mind immediately began to race with ideas of what this story was going to be about, and um, the premise didn't fail to disappoint. Um, basically, the premise is just as intriguing as the title. Of um, the, uh, This, this um, book opens up with the 54 attack, and the whole premise seems to be that this one character has been obsessed with Godzilla since that 54 attack for 50 years. That's why it's called the Half-Century War. Um, and overall, the premise and the execution is very, very intriguing. The writing is fantastic. The tone is perfect. It's very similar to the Godzilla number one tone, and that's great and what makes it so good. Um, the fact that this canonicizes 54 makes this one of the best books that IDW has put out regarding Godzilla, in that the book opens and acknowledges the events of Gojira. In that Dr. Sarazawa is mentioned, the fact that um, Godzilla dies is mentioned, and um, this book cannot take place in the same continuity as Kingdom of Monsters, so if you hated that book just as much as I did, pick this up for that, because this book basically says, yeah, that didn't happen. Now, I'm not sure if this book is a standalone series that has nothing to do with the ongoing Godzilla series going on right now. I'd be really surprised if it was, but if it's not, then this is a great standalone um, miniseries early start to a miniseries, and um, the fact that it does um, canonicize 54 was so cool. I mean, hearing people talk about Dr. Sarazawa was just so cool on a comic. Um, so overall, um, the tone is perfect. It's uh, dark, it's gritty, we see Godzilla kill people, we see Godzilla destroy stuff, we see Godzilla melt tanks, it's great. 
Also, there is a really cool thing in this book. This book focuses on a tank operative named... Oh, crap, I forgot his name. Excuse me for just one second. Oh, boy. Murakami. Uh, a young uh, military lieutenant named Murakami back in 1954, who is a tank operative. And um, he was a member of the battalion of tanks that in the original Gojira rolls right up to Godzilla and fires tank shells at him and it doesn't do any good and Godzilla destroys the tanks. And it could not, and this book explores that those those characters. It's so cool. And shows that this guy must be a Godzilla fan because it is littered with passion for the original Gojira and for Godzilla in general. There's references, there's little nods, and overall it's just a really, really cool, um really cool story. Um, I highly, highly recommend it. I actually think this is slightly more entertaining and more intriguing than the current ongoing by IDW. Um, the, you know, the current Godzilla ongoing. Pick this up. It's fantastic. My only, only criticism of it, and it's not really even a criticism, it's much of a personal problem. I don't love the art. The way, the, the way Stoko draws Godzilla is fantastic. Um, that's Godzilla right there. Godzilla looks fantastic. It's it's very much so the Millennium Series Godzilla, and I like that design. Um, it kind of reminds me of the uh, Tokyo SOS Godzilla, but um, Godzilla's fine, and the way he draws the cities is cool. And overall, the art is very gritty. It kind of reminds me of the of Mazzucchelli's work on Batman Year One. It's that kind of gritty. But my only problem with it is the way he draws people's faces. Um, everything else about, about the art works for me. It's gritting, it's dark, and it works perfectly. The only thing that bugs me is the faces, and here's a great, great panel to demonstrate that. Um, or no, I just had it here. Perfect panel right there. Um, it's a little bit too cartoony. Um, because everything else is really gritty and stylized and realistic, and then you've got these grit, these kind of sort of goofy faces. It doesn't ruin the book, but it, it is distracting and doesn't really fit the tone. But overall, it, it does make it more stylized. I highly recommend this book. It's fantastic. Re pick it up. I'm following the rest of the series, so keep going with, um, I say pick this up and follow the rest of the series. Um... So I highly, highly recommend it. Pick it up. It's fantastic. It's a really good standalone Godzilla story, but also a good continuation of Godzilla 54. Um, I just can't wait to see if this is a prequel to King of uh, to a prequel to uh, the current ongoing Godzilla ser series, or if this is standalone. But I was very, very impressed with this. I say pick it up. It's great. Um, I'm not gonna rate this. I really have. I really don't feel like I could put a number to it. Um, if I have to rate it anything, I'm gonna give. I guess I'll give it a 4.5 out of 5. It's absolutely fantastic and intriguing. I just don't like the people's faces. Um, so um, I do recommend you pick it up. Uh, it's fantastic, and I say I'm gonna continue with the rest of the series. So um, I really don't have a lot to say except pick it up. It's fantastic, and I can't wait to see where the series goes. So um, that all about do it for this review of Godzilla: The Half Century, Sh uh, The Half Century War Number One. Um, again, I highly recommend it. Uh, so thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys soon, and see you later on Godzilla Palooza. Sayonara.